shit right there. Hello folks, Joel here from Kip Moto. Right off the top, I want to thank everybody that's made a purchase of a Sherpax trailer through the winter and took advantage of some of our promos that we've been running. As the season is progressing here, or getting started in March, inquiries have picked up considerably. So we thought we could answer a few questions maybe with some visual aids. So we have a Sherpax here. We have my Husqvarna 701 here. And one of the questions that we always get is how does it connect? And what modifications do I need to do to my bike to put a Sherpax trailer behind it? So I'm going to quickly see if I can hook up my Sherpax on camera to my 701. One of the nice things, I got my gear loaded, but right now I can handle the trailer that's only 30 pounds without having an extra body holding it up or a kickstand or, you know, it's not loaded. I can put my gear in after. So one conical washer, nylon conical washer on the inside. Lift it up. Slide the skewer through. Go around to the other side with your other conical washer. Now the trick is, just like putting an axle in a motorbike, anybody who's changed tires will know, it takes a second to get it lined up. Tighten that down, and then put your safety pin in there. We're fully connected, fully hooked up to the bike. And now you can take your camping gear, whatever you have loaded in your action packer, packed in your house or hotel or whatever, drop it in there, strap it down. I don't know that you could load a motorcycle with 60 pounds of gear any faster any other way. If you want to learn more about the Sherpax trailer, check out our website www.kipmoto.com and don't forget to check us out on Facebook go to www.facebook.com forward slash kipmoto company